If the government shuts down next week, will it have an impact on your pending VA claim or your VA holler review? In today's video, I'm going to discuss when I went through a government shutdown as a former VA Raider with the Department of Veterans Affairs. So make sure you stick around. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne Kimball, owner and founder of KMD 89 VA Claims Consulting, United States Army veteran and retired VA rating specialist. A lot of people have been reaching out to me this week and they're saying, hey, Dwayne, if the government shuts down, what does that mean for the Department of Veterans Affairs? Will our claims get held up? What are they going to do? But before I get into today's video, make sure you go out and pick up my new book, VA Claims Success. You can go to my website. If you purchase it through my website, I'll send you a signed copy. If not, you can pick it up on Amazon. So again, a lot of veterans kind of freaking out, totally understand it. Dwayne, what is, what is the VA going to do? What are they going to do? I cannot tell you what they will or won't do if the government shuts down. But what I can tell you in the past, what happened when I went through two, not one, but two government shutdowns, okay? Now, the first one, when the government was shut down, the VA decided, they had to decide and decided who's essential and who's non-essential. You probably heard those terms come up in some of the uh, news outlets, right? So, if the government shuts down, the VA has to determine who's essential and who is non-essential. And non-essential, they may have certain instructions for them. They could be, hey, you can only come in three days a week or a day a week or whatever. But the first government shutdown I went through, they deemed the appeals. Back then it was called appeals. Now it is called high-level review. So if you hear me say appeals, I'm actually talking about the high-level review now. Back then, it was appeals. Now, when they uh, decided to shut the government down, couldn't reach a deal, and the VA says, okay, all appeal personnel is non-essential. Raiders, RVSRs, VSRs, you are deemed essential. I can't remember if Home Loan Guarantee or Voc Rehab, if they were essential or not, but it was like a ghost town. You know, because you had half of the regional office, people weren't there, okay? Now, what does that mean for people on appeals or high-level review? None of those claims were being worked, which means back then, you know, we're talking over well over 10 years ago, back then, claims kept coming in. Just because there was nobody there working, these appeals, every day. They just kept coming in, coming in. So also back then, that's when regional offices was getting mail at the regional offices. It wasn't going to like Janesville, Wisconsin. That wasn't even <laughs> that wasn't that that wasn't even thought of back then, right? So you have these regional office offices getting this mail every day. So it wasn't odd for a regional office to get two, three thousand, five thousand. 6,000 pieces of mail daily. So let's just say they're getting, you know, they were getting 1,000 appeals a day. They furloughed the appeal department for two weeks. They were already backlogged. Now they furloughed them for two weeks. No other claims were being worked. So that backlog just got longer and longer and longer and longer. Now, when they were off for two weeks, they didn't know if they were going to get paid for those two weeks. But when they came back before the next pay period or the end of the next pay period, they did get paid. Now, what does that mean? What did that mean for the rating activity? Well, I was a rating specialist, so I was deemed essential. 
and I still had to work. Didn't know I was going to get if I was going to get paid on the next pay period. I couldn't take any sick leave. Nothing. You had to work. They didn't even have anything in place. You know, if you know you got hurt in a car accident, it was on a case by case basis. That's that's what we were told. If you had any vacation, you had to cancel it. There's a lot of people who had vacation, they had to cancel it. Okay. So I can't say that that will happen this time. But if it does, I just gave you an example of how your claim could be affected. Okay. Now, if you have a new claim, claim for increase, secondary, and it has to go through the rating activity, and that rating activity, is deemed essential, essential, those claims will continue to get worked. But if they say, oh, high level review, appeals, you're non-essential, everything comes to a halt. I can remember being at, I was in the office that day, I was working, all the supervisors got up, they went in the meeting, the appeals um, coach, assistant coach, supervisor came out, and next thing I know, I start seeing all these appeal personnel standing up, getting their jacket, cutting their computers off, getting their lunch boxes, and walking out. And a friend of mine, he worked in appeals. I was like, hey, you know, I went over and talked to him. He's like, hey, what's going on? He's like, man, they just came and told us to get our stuff and exit the building. And I mean, it was like cutting the lights on and in a roach infested house, and it just broke. They were just, woof. They, I mean, they were like, out, gone, no information, we were left in the dark, but we had to keep working. So you can imagine you're already on an enormous amount of pressure because you got to get the effective date right if you're granting. You got to get the percentage right. But then also you're thinking, well, wait a minute, I got to cancel my vacation. I paid thousands of dollars. You know, we had people complaining about that. And they were like, you couldn't call off sick. And I'm like, so what if you get in a car accident? And supervisor's like, we don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? If you're in a car accident, you're hospitalized for, you know, 48 hours or two days or a week, whatever, what are you going to do? Bring my computer to my hospital room and, you know, set it up and, you know, on that table and work. That's how bad it was because nobody knew in, you know, from the management side on these different scenarios. And every day we were coming in. There was no answers, no answers, no answers. And I think they were just buying the time until a deal could be reached, you know, Congress and figure out, okay, now we're going to open it up. And those individuals, they came back two weeks later and they got paid. I'm glad that they did and we got paid as well. But then it happened again. But it wasn't as bad as the first time because we had already went through it before, you know. So again, the bottom line is, can you, can your claim be impacted? The answer is yes. Will it be impacted? That's going to depend on, again, if the government shuts down and who the VA deems essential and non-essential. If your claim is being worked by a department that is non-essential, expect the longer wait time, okay? Now, we all hope that it doesn't come to that. And that's another thing that I tell veterans. Stop waiting to submit this claim. Get your claim in and get it done because you never know what can happen, all right? Whether you submit a claim and you get 40% and you feel you should be 80%, You've already gotten that 40 percent opposed to now you don't have anything and you could have to wait. All right. Now, that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button and don't forget to share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you.